Since 2013, Nancy Lingby has volunteered her time to Miranda Police collecting pills. We are actually backed up. If you can, if you can scope into here, all the stuff in the middle is backed up. In the back behind there are containers that hold about 50 pounds of tablets and capsules when they're full. And we're about ready to start new boxes of those. Marana police say unused or expired prescription medications are a hazard that can lead to accidental poisoning, overdose and abuse. Number one, we want to keep the drugs out of the wrong hands. We don't want them, children to get them. We also want to keep it out of the hands of the pets in your house. And thirdly, we don't want it in the water system. So never flush them in the toilet, never wash them down the sink. Lingby says during her time as a volunteer, she's seen everything from prescription pills to opioids and even narcotics be dropped off. We get a lot of, lot of opioids, especially if someone passes away in hospice care. We've actually had uh, medical marijuana turned into us in the past, and all of the stuff that we accept gets incinerated and is destroyed. Governor Doug Ducey recently withdrew Arizona's health emergency declaration on the opioid epidemic. He says the decision stems from the opioid action plan now being a part of the law. But Ducey says the state's commitment to addressing the epidemic remains, quote, unwavering. If you want to dispose your prescription medication at one of Miranda PD's events, they only accept pills, not liquids. They say anyone dropping off pills or even narcotics won't be asked questions.